And here it is. The best trophy in the world of sports. The most coveted trophy in hockey. And it's neat that so many of these Nashville fans have stayed in the building to witness this. In our 100th year and the 125th year of the Stanley Cup, it's only fitting that a team that for the first time in almost two decades has been able to hoist it. Congratulations to the Pittsburgh Penguins and their great fans back in Pittsburgh. Congratulations to Ron Burkle and Mario Lemieux, Jimmy Rutherford, Mike Sullivan, and the players who managed to put it all together two years in a row. Captain Sidney Crosby, it's your honor to hoist the Stanley Cup. You won a lot of awards, but you can be guaranteed this never gets old. Last year, his first pass was to Trevor Daly. This year, who will it be? Over 900 games without ever making the playoffs, and in his first playoff year, he's won the Stanley Cup. Matt Cullen, where his three boys will be thrilled tonight, and this may indeed be it for Matt. His third Stanley Cup. And well deserved. As you said, he played such a key role. You think of the penalty killing in this game alone, that was a big difference maker. And when Nick Benito went out, he took on an even greater role. Number four for Regina's Chris Kunitz. One with Anaheim, three with Pittsburgh. And he passes off to Gino. Evgeny Malkin just about fell with it. You know, the wonderful thing about watching each of these players get a chance to lift the cup over their head is that they're there by themselves holding the Stanley Cup, but you know they're not alone. For every pump, as Mark Streit lifts the cup over his head, there's somebody there with them. It's parents, it's brothers, it's sisters, it's coaches, it's wives, it's kids. You're never alone underneath the Stanley Cup. No, I tell you, the greatest feeling is that you're not only sharing it with them in your minds, but you're sharing it with your teammates. Look at their interactions on the ice. This isn't about you winning. This is about winning with your teammates. And there's a great show of class as Fleury, who started the playoffs off, passes off to the guy who finishes it off. Marc-Andre Fleury is probably finished with the Pittsburgh Penguins, and Matt Murray is the goaltender of the now and of the future. And he passes off to Trevor Daly, who got the first pass last year. And <laughs> Hurt in the Stanley Cup Final last year wasn't able to play at the finish, but he played an integral role this time. Back-to-back -back cups for Phil Kessel since being traded by Toronto. And there's your Stanley Cup game-winning goal. Yeah! Where it all began for Patrick Hornquist. Nashville took a late chance on him. Yeah! Traded him for James Neal. Two Stanley Cups for Hornquist. Picked up Carl Hagelin from Anaheim last season. 
where he didn't seem to really fit in, but he sure did here. And speed again, and speed was at the end, that empty netter. There's Chris Letang. What a long journey it's been for him. A frustrating year in so many ways, and must be really proud of his teammates the way they hung in there with his absence. Nick Benino barely able to put any pressure on one leg. It's a wonderful celebration on the ice as we go down to the captain of the Penguins, Sidney Crosby, with Scott. <laughs>